Good morning everyone and welcome back to Switzerland. We are currently parked up in the mountains and if you think you come to the Swiss mountains for some peace and tranquility, you would be wrong because we found ourselves parked up underneath an air base. Switzerland has been a neutral country since 1815. It managed to not get invaded by the Germans because they thought it would be too costly as every man was trained and armed. I think it's absolutely amazing that to this day they have national service. So at 18, every boy has to join up for 300 days and the reason I think it's amazing is because it's a neutral country. It just blows my mind that they still actively go up in these planes Monday to Friday, do loads of training, and yeah, it's just absolutely crazy. And one hell of an experience to... Oh, we're in a tunnel, we're in a tunnel! We're out the tunnel, we're out the tunnel. The footage does not do justice to just how mental that experience was. It literally hurt your eardrums as those things come rushing past you. Really, really cool, wasn't it? Yeah, it was absolutely amazing. And yeah, you could feel the ground shaking. I tell you what, it's, it, I was so glad that we found it. And when we saw them, I was like, I just need to get closer. <laughs> It was amazing, definitely, if you're passing this way, worth going down and having a look because like I say, Monday to Friday, they're up at least like five to ten times. So even if you don't see them taking off, you see them coming back down and they stagger it throughout the day. And there's a guard there that quite happily tells you the times that they come, so... I know that you're trying to fix me, but I don't want to be like you. If you oh, come on, I hope this rain turns to snow, turn to snow. We have been in the Alps for two weeks and we have not had any snow. It's been the least amount of snow they've had in years. Absolutely gutted, livid. I'm not gonna lie, I don't mind. <laughs> Cause that means I haven't had to put on a pair of skis. So I'm, I'm happy with the weather. <laughs> Emily's just gone to see if they've a space for us. I wasn't expecting it to be this busy, but the campsite looks packed. It's our only option. We're in Jungfrau and there is absolutely nowhere else you can stay overnight and they are hot on it by all accounts. So we are having to come to a campsite, but it does mean you're going to get a two minute whip round and we all know how much you love one of Emily's run rounds. She's got paperwork. That's always a good sign. Also, as a little, uh, welcome. Two Swiss chocolates. <laughs> and go on then, how much does it cost us for them two Swiss chocolates? Actually, it was cheaper than the other, not loads cheaper, but oh, really? it was, yeah, it was like 98 francs or something. 98 francs for two nights. Yep. With electric or without electric? Without electric. That's all right, we don't need electric, but and with so a people dog. know. And with a dog. Oh, that's not too bad then. So 80 quid for two nights. Yeah. No, 96. 96 chefs. Yeah, 80 quid for two nights. So that sounds expensive and it is expensive, but for prices in Switzerland to be in this location, that's not actually that bad, is it? No, not at all. And like I say, it was cheaper than the last one and there's a lot more on this campsite as well. There's a restaurant, they've got a little shop and everything. We're going to get our waterproofs on and go for an explore. <laughs> We've been hearing these like loud rumblings and it's actually the frozen water coming away from the wall and I think because we're in there's like mountains either side of us it sounds loud and it's really weird and then when you see them falling down as well it's it's pretty crazy actually. Emily nearly made us leave because she thought we were going to get in stuck in an avalanche didn't you? Avalanche. 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 <laughs> 
You never know. So this is Lauten Brunnen. <laughs> Lauten Brunnen, isn't it, mate? <laughs> We'll put it on the screen because obviously you know uh, it's a really pretty little town it's only a few minutes walk from the campsite but included in the price of the campsite you do get a bus as well and on the weekends it comes at quarter two and quarter past the hour look like picking us up a sled em to come down the big hills with and look it's fun for you you're an idiot no <laughs> my fat butt ain't gonna fit on that Look at this sign. We serve beer as cold as your ex-girlfriend's heart. That just made me chuckle. Not gonna lie to you folks, we are absolutely shattered, aren't we? Yes, I am. Uh... Early night tonight. Um, we're going to get an early night for two reasons. One, if you followed the series, we've crammed a lot in and a lot of miles and a lot of things in this first little bit of the trip. And two, we may, may have an early start in the morning. There's a train here that runs all the way to the top of Jungfrau. It's the highest train station in Europe. But it is £320 for both Emily and I to go, which is an extortionate amount of money. Mm -hmm. And we only really want to do it if it's clear in the morning. So we're going to get up early because we'd want to get the early train if we do go and then see if it's worth doing because we're not spending 320 quid to go and look at clouds from above instead of clouds <laughs> from below. Could you imagine? That'd be horrendous, right? Well, it's just our luck. We've come all the way to the Alps in the winter and we've got no snow, so... <laughs> <laughs> just how it's going to go, really. So we should just prepare for it now. So Emily's doing us a curry and we'll see you lot tomorrow when I don't know what we're doing, so we'll all have to wait and see. The next morning conditions weren't looking great. Secretly glad that we wouldn't have to remortgage the house, I'd found us a different way to go up and then come back down the mountain. We headed into town and grabbed some cableway tickets to get us up to 1486 metres. That's 4,875 feet for you Americans. To get up the next couple of hundred metres, we would need a different type of transport. We are taking a train to Murren. <laughs> Murren. <laughs> We have arrived in Murren. We're at 1,650 metres and it is high, isn't it? It is high and I'm regretting not bringing my sunglasses because it's bright as well. <laughs> Murren is a completely carless town and it has a population of around 450 people but with over 2,000 beds for tourists. And it is 100% worth the trip up here. I think it costs us 22 uh, francs each to get up here on the cable car and the train and the views out the window are ridiculous. Look at this, this is just absolutely mental. The butt's going. <laughs> <laughs> she means like this, the old sphinx to squeeze, is that what you got? Yeah. Come away from the edge. Come away from the edge. Not ready to get rid of you yet. <laughs> That's a lie. You're waiting for me to go. <laughs> it's absolutely mind blowing that they've built a whole town up here and there's no road. And even the train line to get the train and the cable ways up here, the engineering involved in doing all this is absolutely insane. You've got to remember, I'm from the southeast of the UK. I think the biggest hill we've got is about four metres high. So we just don't have views like this. It is insane. And in the snow as well. You know what that woman's got, didn't you? A snack sled. Oh my God, I need one. How cool would that be? Emily has insisted that I clear something up for you all because I keep whinging that there's no snow and I know, yes, there's loads of snow, but what I mean is there's no fresh snow, so this is all old snow and because we're beginner skiers, we need nice, fresh, powdery new snow and we aren't getting any, so I just really want some proper snowfall. <laughs> and I just wanted her to clear that up because obviously there is snow. Yeah, because everyone's in the comments, we're talking about there's loads of snow, yeah, but it's not, it's not good snow, it's like proper solid, non-beginner skiable snow. 
We are doing really well on our mission to keep drinking more water on this trip and that is in no small part thanks to this week's video sponsor which is Air Up. Now if you've not seen one of these bottles before, basically you fill it up with boring old bland water, pop on one of these pods, lift it up, take a drink and it tastes really really good depending on whatever flavour you've put in there. So for example this is strawberry and how it works is as you drink through the bottle it creates a slipstream of air and as you sort of sniff the smell of this hits the back of your throat and then through retro nasal smell your brain thinks that you're drinking in whatever flavour this pod is. So it just means that this water tastes a lot better than boring old crappy water. And we like the metal bottles because it keeps our drink cool. Although up here, not so much of a challenge, but when we do our long hikes in the summer, massive bonus. It's just crazy how it works. It's magical. If you want to check out this magic for yourself, then what they got to do? Head to the link in the description. And if you click that link, you can try out Air Up for yourself. The only vehicle we've seen, and what a cool one to have up here. No idea how it got up here, it must have come up on a train or something, but what a beef. Whoa! <laughs> I'm speeding up, boys. <laughs> this ain't even a hill. I tell you what, if she's making me do this stupid tobogganing stuff, she can carry me there. Oh, tow me, tow me there. Right, where's the phenomenon? Hopefully we can't find it. This toboggan runs so long, we've got to take a train to get to the starting point. We've just taken the funicular up to Aaron, Aaron somewhere, I'll put it on the screen where we are, and now we're gonna sled all the way back down to Murun, which is where we were. So it's quite a long way, and I've gotta be honest, that funicular was scary. It is steep and it goes for a tunnel, and I did not like it one little bit. And I'm glad that she didn't like it because now I'm not gonna like this. <laughs> and now, yeah, we're gonna sled all the way back down. Watch me closely now. I'm traveling at the speed of light. <laughs> we're not very good at this, are we? We'll get the hang of it. Are you shoving me? Yeah. It's not the speed experience I was quite hoping for. Oh god, this is hilarious. I think you need to I think you need to do this to get get going. Wait for me! Yeah. <laughs> I'm going! <laughs> How about this for the ultimate view while sledding? We haven't got the speed, but we've definitely got the location. It's not as bad as what I thought. <laughs> That's because we can't figure out how to go very fast. That's what I like. So I thought I was doing pretty well until a four-year-old overtook me on his snowboard. Fun though. Watching you close now. You're traveling at the speed of light. See ya! <laughs> Sold the restaurant, didn't you? Stopped for a break, didn't you? I want to see how deep the snow is. <laughs> Did you bring your ass down? <laughs> Help me off. No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm not bothered because your aim is terrible. That's all fair. Yeah. <laughs> right in the face. There it is, evidence of Emily's first ever shot on target. <laughs> Look at you! For someone that didn't want to come, you cannot, I can't keep up with that. I literally cannot keep up with you, can I? Oh, I'm loving it. It's so much fun. I can't wait to give uh, skiing a try now. To the point where I was have to go so fast, I nearly died. I nearly went off the edge. Well, I nearly died! <laughs> You like it now, do you? Yeah, you have you fun? Yeah. You're crazier than me. Watch it, watch it. I'm going to do that hill again. It's <laughs> 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 fun.
on. Whoa! Come on, the race! She screwed me over. You stole my speed, Louise. Yes, yes, hello. Have you missed me? You have missed me, yes. Yes, you have. Did you good boy. And you, Sammy? <laughs> She's just like, feed me. Someone's excited to see us. We've been out quite a while, haven't we? We have indeed. And someone else is excited for her dinner. So oh, chips are going straight on, aren't they? So hungry, yeah. Going to get the chips on and I'm going to take AJ out while they're cooking. We picked up some chips from the campsite shop because we can't be asked to cook a proper dinner. How much were they? I don't want to tell you. <laughs> I think maybe about five pounds. Six pounds they were. Six pounds. Eating rich tonight. We was going to get a meal in a restaurant in town, but we've been out for so long and you can see how excited AJ and Summer are. So we don't want to leave them any longer than we have to. So yeah, dinner, early night, because we are shattered. I don't know if it's the altitude or what, oh, but. Who knew? Who knew it'd be so tiring? Or the excitement from all the sledding. Sorry. Sorry. I'm concentrating on my food. You know what I'm like, I'll zone you out. The chips are in, the diesel heaters on. Emily's just taken AJ out for a walk because he needs to stretch his legs. And I'm under strict instructions not to let the chips burn. So that is the very important task I have been given tonight. I just wanted to quickly say, if you do come here, and I highly recommend that you do, do a bit more research than we did and just accept the fact it's going to cost you a few quid, pay for a campsite for three nights and get like the three day ticket for all the trains and stuff because then you can just explore everywhere from here. You can get to Grindelwald from here, all those trains and funiculars and things we've been on today would have all been included in the price and it would have cost us probably a bit less if we'd have bought a day pass rather than paying for everything individually. But we wasn't planning on coming to Switzerland so we've done no research whatsoever so we've just been winging it. But yeah, that would be my advice. Do your research, bite the bullet, buy the tickets and it is a lot of money but my God, is it worth it. And on that note, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'll see you tomorrow. exciting morning this morning we have got fresh snow outside of the van me and AJ are gonna be over the moon oh honestly they're gonna be like children absolute children summer was looking likely like she might go out but she's changed her mind but we'll give it a go are you excited for your first ever two minute tour in the snow no cuz I'm gonna be at a handicap I've got a sore leg from sledging yesterday so you've got to run around in the slippy snow with a sore leg <laughs> yeah it's gonna go well Summer's opinion of snow is very much the same as her opinion of sand. She says no. Uh, do you know what? I, well, I used to be with her, but not anymore. I quite like the snow now. Oh, the sled demon over here. But anyway, AJ, we're going to take AJ out, have some showers, and then we'll be right back with you with the first ever slip, slide, and glide, I'm calling it. The slip, slide, oh, and glide two minute tour in the snow. It's not going to be fun. Just been to the shop to pick up some croissants. Emily's about to embark upon her two minute tour, which on this slippy ice is not gonna be two minutes. I don't think she really wants to do it, but for you guys, she's gonna do it. But I've got her a croissant because I know that'll perk her up when she gets back. All right, this is Camping Young Frau, and we're gonna start you off at the camping bus station. This is where you get your water from. I'm gonna keep, oh my God, I can't believe she's got me doing this in the snow. I swear to God she's trying to cash in on the old life insurance. Here are the toilets in here. Quite swanky. If you want to weigh yourself. I won't take it all the way in because it is morning and as you can might have heard there's people in there and we don't want to walk into anybody. Not like before right? In here 
Oh, it's locked. Whoa! No! Oh, no, it's not. I just don't know how to use a door. Right, in here is your toilet emptying. Well, what I wanted to show you is here, you can wash your dog. How cool is that? A lovely shower, right? No, it says so. Washing the dog. In here are washing machines. I haven't used them because I didn't need to, basically. I think they're five francs per wash and per dryer. I'm trying to make this quick without like falling over and causing an accident, but we'll see. Under no illusions either that this is gonna be under two minutes. I'm sorry. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Oh my God. And I've got to run all the way to the main entrance part because there's some stuff up here I want to show you. We've even got the snow plow out. Can you see that? Well, this is dangerous. I'm not going to lie. Sludgy bit. Safety first, folks. This is a safety first channel. Over here, you've got your recycling point. This is where the bus meets to come and pick you up. You've got a restaurant over there. Lovely pictures and stuff on that down here. You got quite a few permanents, I would say, or like seasonal pitches. Oh my god! Oh. That's where you pop your skis down while you wait for the bus. Lovely little bench, kitchen area in there, rooms in here because our hotel rooms. And here, look, there's a lounge. Let's see if I can work a door, shall we? There's a light. Wait a minute. We're not doing good with this today, are we? <laughs> All lit up, fire apart here. But I tell you what, Ray, imagine just sitting here, front of the fire, after coming back from skiing, sledging, whatever. It'd be amazing, right? And it's all part of it. So there's a shop on here as well. Like I say, restaurant over there. We paid 96 francs for two nights. That included your bus ticket and two adults, one dog, no electric. And you know what? I think that's it. That's all I'm showing you. Because I don't think you want me to die either, not like Louise does. So two minute tour out. and I know you're wondering why leave it so beautiful. We're just driving alongside Lake Thun and we're heading out. And the reason we're doing that is because one, it's draining all of our money. You have to keep paying for things all of the time. There's no respite. And two, we want to come back in the summer months. So we're saving Grindelwald so that we can do some of the amazing hikes that are around there. So we're going to come back again. And I think that's the way you might, that might be best to do Switzerland. There's little bits here and there because to try and do it long term, well, you're just going to have to remortgage your house, sell your van, sell your kids, chew off an arm, feed it to a dog for a farmer. You know, wherever you get these monies from. Um, Emily is just counting our remaining pennies because now we're leaving Switzerland. You've declared we've got enough to go and do some shopping, right? I have, yeah. I've got like 39 francs, which I'm sure will give me at least two bars of chocolate. So we're going to head to Bern because it's on the way out. We're just going to dip in there, have a quick look around Bern. Emily's get some Swedish chocolate and then we're going to move on out. So that's what we're taking now to Bern. You can't not come to Switzerland and not buy Swiss chocolate. I can come to Switzerland and not buy Swiss chocolate. It has to be done. It's easy for me to do. I haven't got any money. You've got it all. <laughs> That's fine. So I'm buying Swiss chocolate. I just won't get to eat any Swiss chocolate. No, I can't help it. It's just what happens to me. Uh. 
later. We've just pulled over for, well, mainly to charge the camera up because we're about to die and Emily wanted to obviously have a spot of lunch so we pulled over for a snack. And I don't know if we're going to make it to burn today because some emergency electrical repairs may be required. So we needed to charge the GoPro and I could hear like this cackling noise but Emily convinced me it was just the kettle cooling down. But actually it was, um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this here, let me show you. We had it plugged into this socket. Now we've been using this socket for three years now and it's never presented us a problem. We've used both sockets at the same time. The GoPro doesn't draw much, but I don't know if you can see. That there is the end of this cable here. And as you can see, it's just completely melted through. I smelt it in the end before I saw it and that's why I come over and started sniffing and I'm glad I did because that's when I saw the GoPro smoking so it's quite scary and um, the socket itself was hot the wires at the back I checked those 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 wasn't hot so I think the problem's probably the socket the GoPro shouldn't be drawing too much for that socket so yeah further investigation and replacements are required but we are going to have van electrical anxiety for quite some time now because we often leave things plugged into that overnight like phones and tablets and stuff while we're sleeping so yeah it's going to be a bit of a worry isn't it? Oh yeah, I won't be doing that. I won't even be able to sleep tonight if I did that. My heart would be like that. My mind would go all over the place. So I'll completely disconnect that one, see if I can find a fault. The fuse obviously didn't trip at the fuse box end, so yeah, a bit of fault finding. And that means, I'm afraid Emily, we're not going to make it to burn this afternoon. Safety first, folks. I said this yeah, is a safety, right. first, safety channel. first channel. And on that note, if you've enjoyed this winter van life episode in the mountains, aside from the slight minor electrical fault, we've had a brilliant time, haven't we? I absolutely loved it. And honestly, if you can't ski, don't worry. Just come and do sledging like we did. Yeah, absolute blast. And like I say, be prepared. Do a bit of planning, except that you're going to have to pay the money, buy the pass and just do it. Don't miss it because it is absolutely brilliant. And on that note, yeah, if you liked it, please do consider hitting subscribe it does mean the world and it really does help the channel grow and we really appreciate it we do and so does a little thumbs up and ding in the bell and on that note we'll see you all on the next for the next winter adventure when we're crossing into the french side <laughs>